Imagine having something like this in your garden. And you know, we can buy all sorts of things. We can buy wind chimes and dream catchers and, and all of those fancy things. We really can. They around every single corner shop. However, if you could make your own out of something that's in and around the home, beautiful, authentic, I think I got a plan for many Christmas presents. Linked, of course, with the plant. So let me show you how to make one of these and how gorgeous they are. Now that is cool. Alrighty guys, so how do we make our own? Really simple, couple of things you're gonna need. Now I'm kind of toning this one down so you can work with me and the better you get at it, once you've made one, you're gonna like start making a double story, triple story. So let's start off with the simplest. I've got one medium sized terracotta pot. It's not more than 15 centimeters. Right, they don't have to be all the same, so don't be controlled by that. And then I've got three little guys that are all the same size, all right? Pop those there. You could, of course, use tins or something like that. However, being a gardener, we like to go with the earthy things, and I love the fact that it's terracotta. Toothpicks, very important. I'll get to those in a minute as to why you're going to need those. Bit of masking tape. Pair of scissors some string and um, don't get thick string or else your life is going to be very challenging when you've got to get it through these little baubles and these little clay baubles you can pick up at your local um, craft shop nice and simple and we've got a bit of spray paint that we're going to be using on the terracotta pots just for a bit of zhuzh of course you don't have to do that either you could put glitter on <laughs> no only kidding okay let's get to it and let's see how we're going to start terracotta pots in place and we put down some paper so that we don't mess up my work area. Um, we've got our paint. You boys got to shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. And of course our masking tape. So let's start off by just marking off exactly where we don't want the spray to go. And yeah, <laughs> for me, this could go anywhere. <laughs> so stand back, baby. Um, I'm just going to take a piece here. And on these little guys, I just want this bottom lip to get a bit of color on it. So take the masking tape there, pop it on, and just feed it around. Nice and easy, just firm it down, tear that off. And there we have it, one done. Let's do the others. Alrighty, these babies are good to go. Let's move these off. One on the board at a time on our paper, and make sure that we Really giving this the good shake, rattle and roll that it needs. And then we're going to spray. Beautiful! Michelangelo has entered the building. And done. Leave it for a couple of minutes. It doesn't take that long to dry. And in the meantime, what you can do is you can start getting your string ready and start getting the baubles ready and get the threading going. Okay, so you're gonna take your piece of string, get it quite long. Although you're only using four pots here, guys, just, just stick with me and make it at least 1.2, which I think this is about. Snip it off there, right, done. Take this end, fold it over, because what we're making now is we are gonna be making the loop for where you can then hang it on eventually when it's done. So around there, two or three times, that should do it, pull it down, perfect. Then what we're gonna do is take our baubles because this is gonna be on top of the first pot and we want a couple there, because it'll look nice. All right, and I'm gonna go with mm, this blue. Now, if your hole size is too small and these things sometimes are not very standard. So you might get a bigger hole, you might get a smaller hole, and that's where the little toothpick comes in handy. So you just take that like there, pop it in with the toothpick, and you can feed it through. So that's why I said earlier, don't buy the string too thick, because if the string is too thick, you are gonna have a torrid time trying to fit it through there. Um, so what we're gonna do is, you'll see as we pull that up, there comes the one little guy, and I'm probably gonna go with three of them 
and then just feed it through and always use that little toothpick to help you along. There we go. And one more. All right, and there we go. Three little guys in place and you can imagine now, there we go as they drop down. This is where the first pot is going to go where my fingers are over here. All right, so we're working from the top, building it from the top all the way down. So leave that over there and let's go across to the pots and let's start taking this masking tape off because, yep, perfectly dry. Okay, so here we go. Oh, love that. Look at that. Gorgeous. Hurrah! As I said, we're going to be starting with the first guy, which is the big guy. Okay, and all we're going to do is take him and thread it through. All right, so there it is. Now, the question is, what's going to stop this part from just sliding through? And that's where, get it there. That's going to be about the length that we're looking at. Take the end of it and you're going to feed one of those little baubles through because they are going to stop it from sliding through the drainage hole. So this does get a bit frayed at the ends here and that's where your toothpick will come in handy. Once again, get this baby through. There we go. Pull it up and you'll see I'm just going to hold it there in place. And all we need to do now is just tie a knot underneath here, which is at that point where my finger is. Okay? So take this, get it round, and do a double or a triple knot here. Rather safe than sorry. There we go. Get it into its spot. And we'll pick it up here. And that's what we're wanting. So you see, if you want to look inside the mechanism here, there's the knot. There's the one bauble, and there is the drainage hole of the pot. Nice and simple. So there it sits. And we've got our first part of it already hanging. Nice! Now we get on to the three smaller pots. So guys, that's the last pot in place. Let's hold it up, have a quick look. Get our little baubles in place. There we go, there we go, there we go. And then of course we've got this long guy over here. So you can either just chop it off there, all right? Or you could keep this and you could add a few more beads on the end, which I kind of like the idea of. So we take that last few bits, pop these guys in here. And of course the you don't need to worry about making knots above them because they're simply just gonna hang with gravity. And pop another three on. Let's get that and then we tie our final knot off and trim the bits, the edges, and that is how we do it. Of course, this is a very tame version of the first one that we saw. However, you get the idea and you know how creative you can be. So I can't wait. You can see I'm trying to tie these so fast so that I can get this little baby into the garden. Last thing, grab the pair of scissors, trim that off there, Trim off this on the top. Do you see there where that loop was? You don't really want that hanging about. Trim that off. And hey presto, voila. Oh, oh, oh man, you're absolutely right. Michelangelo has entered the building. And now she is leaving the building to go and hang this up in her garden. Beautiful.